This is Taryn for One on Hip Hop News. 27-year-old rapper Widener Flo DeGry was sentenced to life in prison for double murder after jurors voted 11-1 to 1 to convict him back in April 2018. The New Orleans rapper formerly signed to Lil Wayne's Young Money record label was sentenced to life in prison on May 14, 2018 for double murder, NOLA.com reports. Criminal District Judge Tracy Fleming Sevillier sentenced Flo to life in prison without the possibility of parole for each count of second-degree murder charges. He was also sentenced to an additional 30 years for conspiracy to commit murder, 40 years for obstruction of justice, and 30 years for conspiracy to obstruct justice. The sentencing arrived nearly one month after a jury convicted him in an 11-to-1 verdict on April 8th after deliberating for nearly two hours. Flo was convicted of killing brothers Kendrick 22 and Kendrick Bishop 18 on May 25, 2015 in New Orleans. The victims were reportedly found in their black Kia with gunshot wounds. Prosecutors said that Flo killed the bishops because he thought they stole $8,000 and two guns from his girlfriend's car a week earlier, according to NOLA.com. Flo, whose real name is Whitener DeGray, attempted to place the blame on his accomplice, Jonathan Evans, and his cousin. But Evans struck a deal with law enforcement and testified against Flo. Evans was reportedly sentenced to 20 years in prison for his involvement in the double murder. In addition to Evans' testimony, investigators found DeGray's cell phone at the scene of the crime. Ahead of his trial, DeGray reportedly pleaded guilty to obstruction of justice and conspiracy to obstruct justice in the case. He confessed to the jury that he lied to police when he denied knowing about the bishop's murders. Assistant District Attorney Irina Zajikova read a statement on behalf of the victim's mother, Sherry Strauss. In the beginning, I hated you, the statement read. I considered you a monster. Today... I no longer hate you. I feel sorry for you. Flo was signed to Young Money Entertainment in 2012.